Originally I had one duet, it's number 51 in the book, uh, on my website as a PDF download. And people were downloading it, using it, and they liked it. And there was a student in Indiana who wanted to use it for contest. But then he emailed me and told me that they wouldn't let him use that duet if it didn't have a contrasting work. So I decided to write for him a contrasting work. A slower duet to go with the, the faster one. So when I was writing this duet for him, I remembered how much I enjoyed writing duets when I was in high school. So I started writing duets for people again. It started, I had this collection that I was calling the stack back then. And that eventually evolved into the idea of writing a complete duet book. Well, first of all, Celebrations is huge. 101 duets ranging from absolute beginner with whole note duets to duets that are so difficult that even the, the most advanced professionals would have difficulty just sight reading them. Most of the other duet books out there are going to be shorter. They won't have as many different styles in them. They won't cover all the keys. And this duet book is fun. It's interesting, it's fun, it keeps you on your toes at all levels. Duets have always been important for two reasons. One is that you just, it's a great way to have fun with a friend or someone in your family. There's a, a, a man and his son that lives not far from here that they use my duet book just to have fun. He's a trumpet player and, and his son is a trumpet player. And they even took the duet book with them on vacation and did duets while they were on vacation. So yes, duets are fun. Uh, but they're also very good for you. The duets help you uh, with your sight reading. That's usually the reason why people use duets, but it's so much more than that. When you play duets with someone, you learn how to blend, you learn how to listen, you learn how to match someone's sound and their articulation and their phrasing. Uh, it's just a, a wonderful way to learn from the other musician that you're playing with. The original duet was written in the late 70s when I was in high school. Then I started writing this duet book as a project in 2003 and it wasn't done, it wasn't complete until 2007. There's a series of easy duets at the beginning of the book that I wrote specifically so that my son Alex and I could play duets while he was just starting off. And these duets are so easy. The, the first duet in the book is all whole notes. And the highest note in the first part is F, the bottom space F. So yes, the, there are plenty of easy duets in the book. Exercises are meant to focus on one aspect of your musicianship. Uh, exercise in finger technique is going to work on your finger technique. An exercise in tone is going to work on your tone. These duets are not exercises, they are musical compositions. I teach the 50% rule to my students. No more than 50% of your practice time should be spent practicing exercises. The rest of your time that day should be spent practicing music. The duets in this book would fall in the music category. They are genuine compositions. They are real music. When you listen to the videos on this website, you will hear that they are real musical compositions. Even the ones that are written for the beginners are still real music. Celebrations is compiled of genuine musical compositions. They are duets, but they're real 
songs, real pieces of music. So, inherent to that, there are twists and turns in the music that make it interesting, but also keep you on your toes. The music is comprehensive in, in its rhythms, its key signatures, the styles that you can play, uh, the kinds of dissonances you cover, those things work together to make a genuinely challenging experience for you when you play the duets. My friend Lonnie Lalane just recently told me that he likes to record on his phone the one part and then play it back in the headphones and play the other part with what he recorded earlier. And that's a good way to do it. You can also, there's videos on this website, you can also use those videos and play along with those. Well that depends on why you're using it. If you're using it for fun, you can skip around and look for the duets that you might enjoy the most. Uh, if you're using it for educational purposes, I, re I recommend that no matter what level you're at, start at the beginning and work your way through the duets. Uh, with my students, I like to, um, if, if I'm assigning the duets to them and having them practice, I'll have them do both parts and then we'll just switch in the lesson. Uh, if we're just sight reading, we will switch I'll have them do first part on one duet and then they'll do second part on the next duet. That's actually a very important part of the duet playing in the lessons. I believe that the students should have experience playing both sides. They should get that experience of being underneath a better player, but they should also have that time that they spend being the leader in the musical ensemble, even though it's just an ensemble of two, there's certain musical responsibilities that come with being the first trumpet player. In a way, it's not really 101 duets. It's a combination of more than six different books into one book. So it does come out to 101 duets, but the duets are very much different from each other. They, there's no the, because of the fact that the original project was going to be so many different books. The duets in the book are very different. the 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 way they're constructed is different. The uh, the styles, the compositional structure, they're just completely different from each other, and that makes it very much not boring. The advanced players will be extremely challenged at the end of the book. The last 25 duets are, most of them are truly virtuosic duets. They are at a skill level. If you play them at the posted tempos, the skill level is uh, some of the hardest music you'll probably ever play in your life. We have it on our website at tigermusicstore.com and it's also available at lulu.com and we have plans to make it available at Amazon and Barnes & Noble in the near future. It's available both as an e-book and as a physical book. The physical book currently is spiral bound, which makes it easy to lay flat on the stand, but we will also have perfect bound in the near future. <laughs>